hello everyone hello everyone and welcome back to our page of our channel today is most cool by you today we have uh in our miss old washer in this video we answer the question why did god choose you this video is really deep i am sure this will bless you and please you can share this video and all the video in our platform so that we can bless someone else and may god bless you as you so you are blessed and may god bless you more see you in the next video shalom now let's go on not only who god is what god has decreed what God has done in history, in the gospel, and in you, but God will, what God will do. This is something that I, as a Christian of many, many years, over 30 years, if there's any truth that I have to remind myself of, it's this one more than any other truth. You know, people will say, you know, this is the only life you get. You can't hit replay. You can't hit replay. This is the only life you get. That's true. But this is not as good as it gets. What is waiting for us? Future grace. 1 Corinthians 2.9 Things which eye has not seen and ear has not heard and which have not entered into the heart of man all that God has prepared for those who love Him. And don't you, don't you dare because I will come down there and I will whip you. Don't you say, ah, there's the key for those who love him. And I don't love him perfectly. Will you just stop it? Stop it. Stop doing that. He doesn't love you because your love's perfect. The tautology that we have in Deuteronomy chapter 7, where basically it's set before Israel. Israel, why do I love you? Okay, I'll give you the answer. Israel, I love you because I love you. And what he's saying, it came from me. It was my decision. I elected it. I decided it. I set my love on you. There it is. My love did not begin with you. It doesn't stand with you. It won't end with you. It began with me, stands with me, ends with me. I love you but I don't deserve it. Would you shut up? See, Jamie, you don't have to be cultured or intelligent to preach here. I'm evidence. Quit it. There's a counseling, well, it's a, it's a funny thing on, on YouTube. My wife showed me the other day, and she loves it because the person comes into this counselor, and they tell all the problems, and the counselor says, well, I can answer this in two words. Stop it. Stop it. Ephesians 2, 6 and 7. And raised us up with Him and seated us with Him in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. So that in the ages to come, what? So that in the ages to come, you can have a little cabin on a hillside somewhere. No. So that on the ages to come, He might show the surpassing riches of His grace in kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. God has saved you in order to demonstrate to all creation, including principalities, powers, mights, and dominions, how good He is. That's why He saved you. And that's why He chose you. Not many noble, not many wise, not the big ones, not the smart ones. Why did Paul say, why did He choose the base ones, the weak ones, the ones that are not? Why? so that he could show how good he is. Lavishing the greatest blessings, turning over the inheritance of his own son to the worst humanity has to offer. Imagine if someone was getting bad press, a billionaire was getting bad press, that he wasn't charitable. And so he just picks you and says, I'm going to be, I'm going to use you for a special purpose. I'm going to lavish all my wealth upon you so that every time someone looks at you, they understand how charitable, how good, how loving and kind I am. How many of you would sign up for that? That's what God has done. 